welcome to week 27 of my pregnancy. You guys, I feel like I just announced my pregnancy like last week. Um, this pregnancy is flying by probably because of everything else going on in our lives, moving and everything. Um, but yes, I'm 27 weeks pregnant today. Um, I'm calling it the third trimester. I know some people say 27 and some people say 28 weeks. Um, but I'm going with third trimester today. I feel like I've been saying this a lot the past couple of videos, but not a whole lot to report on this week. Um, not a lot of new symptoms or anything. I'm still feeling really good. Um, I'm hoping that continues at least for a little while longer. Obviously, I'm going to continue getting bigger and more uncomfortable. Um, but yes, I'm feeling great so far. Baby boy is moving like crazy. Um, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go follow us. Uh, our Instagram account name is Teddy and Lauren Life. Um, I did post a video the other day of all of his kicks and movements and they're getting to be more like little rolls. Like I can um, tell it's like a hand or an elbow or a foot or whatever it is in there. Um, but besides just like little kicks here and there, they're be beginning to be more bigger movements and rolls, I guess I would call them. So go ahead and follow us on Instagram so you can check that little clip of a video out. One thing that I did want to touch on this week and something that I need to get better at is staying active and basically just exercise and nutrition in general and the dreaded weight gain. Um, so I guess two weeks ago at my appointment was the last time I was weighed. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the last like two videos, but two, as of two weeks ago I had gained 16 pounds. Um, a little bit more than what I would have liked to be at back that it was 25 weeks. Um, my goal, I guess, was to gain no more than 25 pounds. And I want to like say a little disclaimer here. I know not everything goes to plan and I know I'm going to be gaining the weight that I need to gain for baby and it is what it is and I'm just going to deal with it and take it as it comes. Um, but at the same time, I also haven't been focusing too much on proper nutrition and exercise. Um, Teddy and I do try to take a nightly walk, but that usually ends up being like maybe three, four nights a week. Um, there's just so much going on with getting our house organized and taking on extra jobs and work hours things like that to try to earn some more money. Um, but yes, I could definitely be better with staying active and eating healthier. There are days that go by where I am like, I don't think I ate a vegetable today. Oops. <laughs> um, so yes, 16 pounds as of two weeks ago. And I do have an appointment tomorrow, an endocrinologist appointment. And I guess I will be weighed then. Um, I can report to that on my next video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, trying to hold myself accountable. So you out there, you guys all know this, hold me accountable, eat better, stay active. And I know the more active I am and the more exercise and healthy lifestyle, I guess, that I live, the easier, hopefully, my labor and delivery will be and recovery and postpartum, things like that. It all goes hand in hand. So I'm going to be working on that. Life updates, um, as far as the house goes, we did finish, completely finish, painting the nursery, um, including all like the little paint touch-ups that we needed to do, putting all the switch plates and covers and back on and everything. And something really exciting is that a friend of mine bought us our crib. Um, she's been a high school, a friend since high school, and a couple months ago she reached out and she was like, hey, if you guys don't have a crib yet, I'm buying it for you. And I was like, are you kidding me? Cribs are expensive. We registered for like a $300 crib. Like it wasn't cheap. I was expecting, you know, grandparents or like some family to go in on it together. Um, but lo and behold, she bought it for us, which is so, so, so sweet of her. And that's just so generous. We're so thankful for that. So we did pick it up from her house yesterday. Um, she had it delivered to her house by mistake. She meant to send it to us. Um, but this thing is massive. The box is like five by four, five feet by four feet and like, I don't know, 200 pounds or something. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, we are super excited to set that up together. It's just 
still in the box in the middle of the nursery, um, just kind of hanging out ready for us to set it up. So we can't wait to do that. As far as the rest of the house goes, we are definitely making progress on things like painting and decorating things the way we want them to be. The half bath downstairs is pretty much complete. We just need to hang up two things of artwork on the walls. Um, and then last night I actually painted our master bathroom. Started painting it at like 8.30 at night thinking like, oh, this bathroom is tiny, you know, I'll get this done in an hour. Well, I finished at like 11 o'clock finally. Um, just did a couple touch-ups this morning and basically put it all back together. The shower curtain, um, the towels, you know, like just the f final touches. Um, that just needs some artwork hung on the wall as well. And hopefully today, the rest of the day today, I'm going to get a start on painting our master bedroom. Um, we're going to do the bathroom and the bedroom the same color. It's just a neutral gray color and yes things are definitely coming together. We do have a big exciting trip coming up. We actually leave next Saturday for the East Coast. Uh, my grandparents live in Connecticut and they are celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary so they are flying everybody out. Um, so my dad, it's his parents, and then my sister and brother-in-law and nephew, and then myself and Teddy. So the six of us will be taking off on Saturday morning, and Teddy and I are going to be coming back the following Thursday. So that's, what's five, six days? I don't know, do the math. Um, but yeah, so we're going to spend some time in Connecticut, and then Teddy and I are actually renting a car, as well as my sister, brother-in-law, and nephew, and we're going to be spending a couple days on Cape Cod. We are so excited. Um, I kind of grew up going to the East Coast to visit my grandparents, and so I have spent some time on, on the Cape. Um, but Teddy has never been to the East Coast, so I'm super excited for him to experience everything. Um, and we're also kind of treating it as a little baby moon um, as far as like the East or the Cape Cod part of our trip because everything else will be spent with family and everything. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to have some time away together before the baby is here. Um, now I did want to touch on flying a little bit. So I got the okay for my doctor, everything. I'll be what, 28 weeks by that point, so it's completely safe to fly. However, what are your tips that you have for me for flying while pregnant? Um, I'm definitely thinking, considering getting some compression socks um, just to combat the uncomfortable leg, ankle, feet swelling. Um, and the flight isn't too far. I think it's two and a half hours, and it's direct. Uh, so just gonna get up, walk around, move around, wiggle my toes whenever I need to and stretch. Uh, but if you guys have any other tips for me as far as traveling while pregnant, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the week 27 belly. Um, so far, no new stretch marks. I just have those couple still on my sides, but we will see. The 27 week belly, the shirt on. And here's the shirt up. That's it for week 27. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure to go follow us on Instagram, Teddy and Lauren Life. I'll have that info in the description box below. And I will see you guys next week for my week 28 video, which I'm going to have to be making a little bit early, probably on Friday, because um, we're leaving on our trip on Saturday for a full week. So be sure to subscribe and so you don't miss a video. Bye guys, talk to you later. Mwah.